The last thing I want to cover today is just a, a very short idea, which is that we're boosting attendance and we're boosting participation. But a lot of times when we think about perception, learner perception, which is tier three, we just assess satisfaction level. And there is unfortunately no correlation between how satisfied somebody is with a learning experience and the likelihood that they're actually going to apply what they've learned or retain what they've learned or change their behavior as a result or something. In fact, there may be there are reasons why there's actually an inverse relationship. Sometimes people are like, oh, I love this, but that's because it was really easy. You didn't do anything. <laughs> you just had to sit there and listen to somebody, charismatic person talk and let it wash over you. And then a few days later, it, everything's gone. And so we want to be careful about defining a an engaged learner as a satisfied learner. We want to move more to something like thinking about engaged learners as motivated learners. So one way that you can do this and operationalize it is by asking, potentially asking a question at the end of your program or at the end of a given experience or yeah, after somebody did something async or sync, doesn't matter. You can ask, for example, this kind of question. This is again from the work of Dr. Will Talheimer. He has written a whole book on performance focused smile sheets. One of the questions he asks is related to motivation to apply. And you see here on the left, there are ratings, right? So if somebody says, my current role doesn't enable me to apply what I've learned. Oh, that's really bad. That's probably a huge mismatch between somebody who's there and, and what you're teaching. But then there are also unacceptable things where somebody went through this whole experience and they're not going to make it a priority to actually do anything about it. And what you want to aim for is creating experiences that get people to say, oh yeah, I went through this and I'm going to make it a high priority to do this in my day job. And you might find when you start asking a question like this, you're getting lots of unacceptable responses, but that's good because if you hadn't asked it, you wouldn't have seen that and you couldn't, you wouldn't have done anything about it. And so asking something like this starts getting you closer to the kind of engagement that actually leads to all of the other levels that you want, task competence, knowledge transfer, et cetera. One of the things that we do to help turn engagement into action is at the end of every class, we have people make a commitment. In some classes, we have an elevated version of a commitment. So based on the idea of triggered action planning, where you set a goal, then define a situation in which you will take a particular action. And these sorts of very specific implementation intentions are more likely to result in application. With that, I want to thank everybody for joining. Before you run, I just want to share this link with you. If you're interested in a demo of Hone, please, please go to that link. You could see much more about us and how we operationalize a lot of the engagement tips that we shared today. Another thing we'd love for you to do is you can just take your phones out and scan this QR code, or you can just go to this link, which we'll drop into the chat. I think maybe Shania or yeah, Victoria did it. So the link that Victoria shared, or you can use that QR code. Please give us some feedback especially stuff that you wish was in was in today's session or a way that we should have covered things that we didn't. Any feedback is great. And then you can also indicate any further interest in hone at the end of that as well.